When the blue of the night meets the gold of the day, someone waits for... Not you, Jimmy. Someone waits for me. Ken Carpenter welcoming you to Philco Radio Time, produced and transcribed in Hollywood with John Scott Trotter, his orchestra and chorus, the charioteers, Skitch Henderson, and the dynamic star of our show. Thank you, Ken. You're a gentleman and a carpenter. <laughs> now, just a second here, Mr. Durante. When I invited you over here, tonight I asked you to drop in, not move in. You... Hey, you got me standing up here with egg on my face. You're too fast. Wait a minute, Bingo and Radio, you got to be fast. I tuned at the Bob Hope show Thursday night. Thursday night? No, Tuesday night. <laughs> Tuesday night. Once a week is enough for that type of show. Please don't correct me. I'm public. <laughs> you know, don't. bingo and radio, you got to be fast. That's right. I tuned at the Bob Hope show Tuesday night, and believe it or not, Hope got six laughs before the audience was through applauding Fibber McGee and Molly. <laughs> Bob Hope, Bob. Oh, that name rings a bell somewhere. I can't just play. Yeah, you know, uh, he's that comedian with the odd-shaped nose. Oh, that one. A ghastly thing. <laughs> well, I tell you, Jimmy, that whirlwind technique, that's all right for Rapid Robert, but around here we move at a more leisurely pace. Leisure is taboo. Yes? On radio, you've got to get rolling. How do you start this show off? Well, the vocal group is here, and if the kids are ready, we're going to skip through a bright little tune called A Gal in Calico. Calico is also taboo. It ain't glamorous. If you're going to do a swing tune, it ought to be about a girl in a beautiful evening gown. Strapless? Certainly not. You've got to have something to swing on. <laughs> I think this will swing all right, James. You just stand by. A gal in calico down in Santa Fe used to be her Sunday bow till I rode away. Do I want her? Do I want her love? Yes, sirree. Will I win her? Will I win her love? Wait and see. Working with a rodeo, go from town to town. See most every kind of gown, every kind of gown, but who made my heart sing? Yippee eye, hippie oh, my little gal in calico. You can have your gals dressed in silk and satin, those are great for shape and great for sheen. Take your city gal to go around my hat and think I made a swell in velveteen. When they're wrapped in sable, we're not able to imagine how they look. I'm just a country boy, and any country boy knows a fancy cover doesn't make a fancy book. Oh, the fancy cover does make the book. I'll take my gal in Calico, Calico. down in Santa Fe. Santa Fe, Santa Fe. I guess I'd better let her know that I feel this way. Is she waiting? Is she waiting? She better be. Am I hoping to be roping her? Yes, sirree. I'm gonna quit the rodeo. rodeo. Gonna settle down. Buy a bolt of calico. calico. Or a wedding gown. Then will I fence her in? Get the eye. Ho ho. My little gal in calico. Get the eye, get the old. Little gal, calico. That was Gallon Calico, the big tune in Warner Brothers' sprightly musical, The Time, The Place, and The Girl. 
romantic thought. Ah, oh, but Bing, wouldn't it be more romantic if you had the time, the place, and uh, Philco? Oh, you're leaving out the best part, the young lady. Well, those Philcos really get the gals. You mean you can ride down the street in the Philco and whistle out of it and get some action? <laughs> hmm? No, not exactly, Bing, but, uh, well, you take that Philco 1201. Now, there's a really new kind of radio phonograph where you just put a record in the slot and it plays. Now, that obviously attracts a more favorable type of attention than just whistling. Have you made competitive tests in front of Hollywood High? Mm. Well, not with the 1201 uh, thing for the uh, the outdoor there. dating. The new Philco Portable has greater appeal. It's really a powerhouse. Besides, it's light and compact and uses the same type of tubes as the Army's walkie-talkie. Now, just suppose the time were next summer and the place, a canoe. Can't you visualize the big play you'd get with the gal if you had a Philco Portable along? Well, can it paddle, too? Oh, <laughs> Anyhow, it's a little chilly for canoeing so close to Christmas time, Ken. I think folks are more interested in what you're offering for indoor listeners. Oh, it's a cinch, Bing. This Christmas, you'll find the biggest selection of new Philco radios and radio phonographs since before the war. Give any one of them, and you're sure of giving the newest thing in radio from Philco, the leader. Once again, romance raises its comely kisser in a new tune, a tune entitled, And Then It's Heaven, John. A dream is just a dream Until I dream of you And then it's heaven a kiss is just a kiss Until I'm kissing you And then it's heaven The ordinary things I always do with you Become the most important thing I'll ever do Say I love you And then it's heaven A dream is just a dream A dream of you And then it's heaven A kiss is just a kiss A kiss and then it's heaven The ordinary things I always do with you Become the most important things I'll ever, ever do and words are only words Till you say I love you Nice singing, Bingo, nice singing. Albeit the tempo was slightly lethargic. <laughs> lethargic. But, Jimmy, that's the only way to sing a love song, especially to a girl. You've got to snuggle up and you hum softly right into her ear. That's all right for guys like you. But me, I can't get that close to a dame. <laughs> but, Bing, don't misunderstand. All right, Jimmy. I'm just trying to give you some constructive criticism. You see, I'm considered quite a radio doctor. Oh, that's nice. What shows have you fixed up lately? You know that program, Stella Dallas? Yeah, that's a good show. What did you change? I moved Stella to Fort Worth. <laughs> <laughs> I got a million of them. Hey, Trevor, say, by the way, uh, have you taken the temperature of the Durante Moore show lately, James? Please, besides, who ever heard of a doctor cutting out his own appendix? <laughs> A fine way to talk about Gary Moore. But... <laughs> Fire away, Doctor. We're wide open for suggestions. We well, the first thing a radio program has to have is a good studio audience. I got a great audience here. Very true, very true. 
But I know that some copying critics have said that I get my studio audience through bribery and threats. I want to brand that statement as a tissue of prefabrication. <laughs> Jimmy, tell us, how do you get your studio audience? Well, my studio audience consists of a group of people who are walking along Sunset Boulevard when suddenly they fell through a trap door. <laughs> That's fair enough. I, I go out in the street and get mine with a ball bag. <laughs> <laughs> and furthermore, we offer no inducements to come to our show. Of course not. Our tickets merely read the Durante Moore program. Tonight, only one free Cadillac to each customer. <laughs> Jake, all around. What else do you do to build up a show? I use the Durante system of personality training. Let me hear this. I take some talented young person and do everything I can to build up his career. I give him a nice place to live in, plenty to eat, plenty to drink, finest to clothes. In fact, I cater to his every whim. Who have you done this uh, for so far? Me, and I'm very grateful. <laughs> I start giving voice lessons. Oh, that's so? Tell me, who are some of your other pupils? John Charles Thomas, to name a few. <laughs> I didn't get that out clear enough. That's I gotta fair. pronounce that's it again. Fair. That's all right. John Charles Thomas, to name a few. That's better. And of course, that eminent crooner, Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra, what did you do for him? Nothing. I came too late. The damage was already done. <laughs> Well, how does your system of voice training compare with the continental method of diaphragmatic control of the laryngeal cartilage which produces stentorian as well as mellifluous vocal gyrations? I missed a great opportunity to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> but the Durani system can be summed up in one word. Pace. Tempo. Listen. Here I am. Let me hear that off. Let me hear it. You've got to start off each day with a song. Sing it, Jimmy Boy. Now, even when things go wrong. Sing it for the heart. Why, you feel better. You even look better. I'm here to tell you that you be a go-getter. Now, the way that you shake my hand. Give me five, Jimmy Boy. Well, tell me how I stand. Now, isn't it better to go to life with a smile and a song than walking around with a face 11 miles long? Now, you know that you can't. Go wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta start off each day with a song. Hit it! Hey. You gotta start off each day with a song. Oh boy, you're singing now. Now even when things go wrong, Jimmy, you're the wild. Why you feel better? Let me hear those violins. Let's hear the violin. Music is, does something to me. I wish I knew what it was. <laughs> Only the other day I was telling Umbriago about my latest concerto called Tony's Pushcart. He said, Tony's Pushcart, how does it go? I said, it doesn't go. You have to push it. Uh -huh. <laughs> a million of them. Now you know that you can't go wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why, yeah, yeah. Start off each day with a song. You yeah. gotta start off each day with a song. Oh, with a song. Now even when things go wrong. Things go wrong. Mr. Crosby, what? I can do without that echo. <laughs> But bingo, I'm in great voice tonight. It reminds me of the last recital I gave at Carnegie Hall. Yeah? It was delightful chamber music. And they came from miles around. Who came? Chamber maids. <laughs> well... <laughs> Let me hear that band. Me... Hit it. Now you know that you can't go wrong. No, that's why if you start off each day with a song. Thank you, Bing. One Thank you. Home. Thank you, Bing, and I'm glad you jumped in there. Why? Who knows? We may turn out to be another Nelson Eddy and Jeanette McDonald. <laughs> I don't think there's enough hair between the two of us to play either part. <laughs> Anyhow, Jimmy, you're, you're quite a piano thumper. I know that ragtime Jimmy they used to call you. I'd like you to meet a lad who does uh, our piano work around the place here. Just a minute. Before I meet anyone, who did he play with? What's his background? Why, this fellow's played with the New York Philharmonic, the Boston Symphony, the Paris Conservatory of Music, and at Carnegie Hall. Can't hold a job very long, huh? <laughs> However, James, I want you to say hello to Skitch Henderson. Hello, Stitch. Skitch. Hello, Mr. Durante. <laughs> 
Why, this boy's a blonde dromish. <laughs> a male Betty Hutton. <laughs> Betty's much more vital than I am. Oh, I don't know about that sketch. I believe you've had your moments. Yeah, but they don't last long enough. <laughs> Before this discussion begets too adult, I think you'd better slink over to the Steinway, see what you can find for us on the black and whites. Jimmy, you go over and curl up on the music rack and relax. Mr. Henderson's selection is going to be stumbling. One of my favorites. I shall bore a hole in my head and listen with an open mind. Uh, <laughs> I guess that augurs well for its success. Hmm? <laughs> could use a longer piano. <laughs> very nice, Lyle. That was a very interesting arrangement. Cross stage now, I see the charioteers starting to flank the mic. My program notes tell me that they're going to sing a fine spiritual, Didn't Old Pharaoh Get Lost. Well, I didn't know Farrah get lost, get lost, get lost, lost, didn't know Farrah get lost in the Red Sea. The Lord spoke unto Moses, go unto Pharaoh now, for I have pardoned Pharaoh's heart, to me he will not bow. Then Moses and Aaron, to Pharaoh they did go, thus said the God of Israel, won't you let my people go, hallelujah, well I didn't Didn't know Pharaoh get lost, get lost, get lost, lost, didn't know Pharaoh get lost. Lost in the Red Sea. No. Really good. Well, that's what I've been trying to tell you, Bingo. Tempo. That's what that number had. Tempo. Well, there's all kinds of tempo, Jim. Now, here's something in a little slower tempo. No use announcing the name of the tune. The first line tips the title. Rumors are flying. That you've got me sighing That I'm in a crazy kind of a daze A lazy sort of a haze When I go walking I hear people talking 
They say our affair is not just a passing phase And they whisper about the flowers I keep sending you by the dozen And they wonder about the hours that I spend with you. It's got them buzzing, rumors are flying, and I'm not denying that people are sure I'm falling in love with you. Cause for a change, Darling, all the rumors are true. I keep sending you by the dozen And they wonder about the hours that I spend with you It keeps them buzzing, rumors are flying And I'm not denying But people are sure I'm falling in love with you Cause for a change, darling All the rumors are true Very oh, good. It was sweet. no wonder they named it. It was no wonder they named the day and the week. Let me get that again. <laughs> it's very good, know. Mr. Crosby. Thank very you. good. Thank you, James. It's no wonder they named the day and the week after you. What day and the week is that? Well, you know what day it means. Bing's day. Oh, that old thing. <laughs> <laughs> you see, he's just modest, Jimmy. You know, it isn't every singer that has a day named after him. Oh, I don't know. I got a whole month named after me. Well, what month is that? November. <laughs> Thirty days hath no November, but uh, here we are in December. Not many days left to pick out a new Philco radio for Christmas. And you can count on one thing. This year, you've got plenty to pick from. The widest choice of new Philco models since before the war, including even those fine Philco console radios and radio phonographs. Yes, this Christmas, the big sets are back. Still in limited quantities, but sparkling with new improvements from the Philco laboratories. Richer tone... Increased power, new electronic features from Philco's war research. Stunning new cabinets, too. They look like a million in your living room. So if you want to give your family something really new and different, how could you miss with one of these fine console combinations? For teenagers, there's the one and only 1201. Just put a record in the slot, and it plays. And for everybody, a wide selection of brilliant new table models. Yes, give a Philco this Christmas, and you're giving a radio that's new all the way through. And it's a Philco, famous for quality the world over. Stop the music! Stop the music! Stop, Stop the, the music. music! Why did you start it, Jimmy? Bing, that's my mood music. Huh? I use it when I'm creating. What little brainchild did you come up with? Just this, Bing. What this program needs are some real old-fashioned crooners. Oh, Jimmy, crooners are a dime a dozen. Just when did the price go up? <laughs> but stand back. Listen. Okay. We played the game of stay away. But it cost more than I could pay. 
Without you, I can't make my way. La -di -da -di -di -da -di. Shame on you, Bing. I was supposed to sing that. Sorry. <laughs> I surrender, dear. Jimmy, in my opinion, you should not only surrender, but give reparations to boot. <laughs> Any man who would boot a reparation would give his grandmother a hot foot. <laughs> What's wrong with my crooning anyway? Well, really nothing, Jimmy, and it throws me a thought, too. It might be a good idea for you and me to switch rackets. Meaning? Just this. I'm Crosby, the well-dressed man. An international sort of dapper down. Why, when I walk down the boulevard in my suit, it's light and airy. My bell-bottom trousers play the bells of St. Mary. <laughs> Just feel this nifty piece of gabardine It's the finest piece of goods you would ever seen Why, well, you know, just yesterday I walks out of Abercrombie and Fitch Yes Somewhere in my new slacks, but they was too tight Go on I bends over and what happened? What happened? Abercrombie and Fitch does all partnership <laughs> Lucky DVD was still doing business <laughs> What's the Stop matter the now? What's Stop the matter? Stop the music. That Crosby is only using one lip. <laughs> you know, Bing, what? I would like to refute categorically each and every preposterous fal falsification contained in that lyric. Just what do you mean, Jimmy? I was hoping one of us would know. <laughs> anyway, Crosby, your being a well-dressed man is ridiculous. Well, Jimmy, I'm not exactly a scarecrow. Maybe not, but stay out of the cornfield. <laughs> to me we're in a bit of a cornfield right now, Jim. Before we leave, how about husking a bit of blue skies with me? I'll be glad to aqua ace. Aqua <laughs> Let me see that. Where do you see yeah. it? Where is it? Let me see it. Where? Let me see that. <laughs> That's aqua ace. I'm captain of a rowboat. You'll notice, it? you'll notice I can pronounce them if they're syllabalized. <laughs> Let's take off before you fracture your epiglottis here. Blue skies shining at me. It's out to grinning at the beginning. Nothing but blue skies do I see. I've seen a few skies, the best of blue sky. Blue birds. Technicolor sparrows. Singing a song. Nothing but blue birds all day long. It's getting monotonous. Throw me a robin. <laughs> Never saw the sun shining so bright Never saw things going so right Noticing the days hurrying by When you're in love, my how they flood Sing it, Bing Stay Bending on it Blue days All of them gone Gone, gone Nothing but blue I can't follow you that <laughs> Let's hock our raincoats And our umbrellas And our galoshes Let's don our sunsuits Blue skies Above and on Hey, Thank you Well, it appears we're about at the end of the trail for tonight. We'll be back next week at the same time with some more hoopla and Paul Deraw. I want to thank United Rexel Drugs for letting us have Jimmy Durante tonight. Next week, we'll have another guest for your approval. I don't know just who right now. Nobody tells me anything around here. But before I shake out in the direction of the Crosby Shack, I want to throw a reminder your way regarding Sister Kenny, a wonderful woman with a great cause. I hope you think so, too. <laughs> This program is produced and transcribed in Hollywood by Bill Morrow. Tune in to Philco Radio Time next week and hear Bing Crosby, John Scott Trotter, his orchestra and chorus, the charioteers, Skitch Henderson, and the guest that Bing referred to. I'd like to know who it is, too. Anyhow, see you next week. And remember, this Christmas, give a Philco, famous for quality the world over. <laughs>